Hey guys, Naturally Martyr. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Before we get into this video, I see you, see me. So I want to see you press subscribe and become part of the fam. Bam. You guys, today is going to be a three week update for my. Mm, I almost said mini twist, but they're not mini. They're everything but mini, okay? They're skinty because my hair has came out, but they're not minty. But this is just a three week update on my hair. I'm taking them out. <laughs> to be just plain and simple, I'm taking them out. Um, I redid them last week when I washed my hair, but I didn't take all of my hair down and retwist my hair. I just took one twist down at a time and retwisted my hair. And I feel like the fuzziness is like, I don't know like I just don't I just don't like what's going on here you know what I'm saying like I really I feel like it's starting to kind of get tangled amongst itself I feel like it's not holding the moisture the way that I want it to hold the moisture but I feel like that could also be from the products I use but I'm not okay yes I am okay I'm gonna just be 100% real I believe that it's the products that I used I only used a leave-in conditioner which is the Shea and Moisture black Jamaican castor oil leave-in conditioner line and I normally if y'all been here for a long time if y'all are naturally marked I don't know you know but yes if y'all are if y'all been here for a while y'all know I normally twist my hair with shea butter and I twisted my hair with leave-in conditioner. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Like, my hair just feels dry at the ends. And I've been spraying my hair with water. I've been tying my hair up. I didn't do a hot oil treatment this week because I've been doing more spraying my hair this particular week. But I just feel like my hair actually needs to be taken down all the way. And that's what I'm gonna do is just take my hair down. I'm gonna listen to my hair. I don't feel like it's tangled necessarily because I just retwisted it last week, but I do feel like it's just not giving me moisture the way that I want it to give me moisture. And then I'm also kind of thinking I want to cut my hair. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I think I wanna cut some of it some of it like not all of it off like i'm not gonna just be super dramatic because i'm not gonna cut all of it off but i feel like a, a good chunk of it needs to come off and i'm just not sure how much i want to cut off because this is probably already like six inches right there but i will like straight cut all of that off and then i'm like what did i do but what I want to do if I do cut it off is actually blow dry it out and then possibly cut it but you guys one thing that I've noticed like with a COVID update hair loss situation like I know y'all can see how this is like super puffy November November 3rd 2021 is when all of my hair came out so November 3rd 2022 is when it will be a full year so i feel like i got a good chunk of new growth on there i don't feel like my scalp like the middle of my head like the crown of my head where my hair was the thickest honestly with it almost being a year later because today is august 19 2022 and i feel like I don't know if I'm gonna get the the density back in my hair like the way that it was like it feels like it's got it's gotten a lot thicker because I can tell from the hair right here to like all of this hair like it's it's growing back in thicker but it's not as thick as it was especially in the crown part of my head like I can literally feel my scalp and before I had COVID and lost all of my hair I could not stick my fingers in any of these parts and like feel my scalp or even get my finger underneath the twist so I mean I'm just just being a hundred percent honest and real about and realistic about the progression of my hair like I don't 
I don't feel like it's, it's going to be back the way that it was. But I feel like the back part of my head has most definitely grown back in because I can barely get my fingers through the back section of my hair. But when I get to the crown of my head, I can feel that that's where a lot of the hair came out at. Like a, a good amount. So I'm trying to figure out now is like because the ends is thinner and because I don't I don't necessarily do twist out braids out braid outs I don't tweed out I do not wear my hair out that much I'm kind of like I shouldn't even really cut off inches of my hair because my hair is protected and it's up all the time so even with the difference of the of the densities ain't nobody gonna know because don't nobody see my head like my hair is not down for me to just cut all of that off at one time and then my twist be at like an awkward length or whatever so i mean i like literally i'm just i'm just really playing this by ear i'm just continuously moisturizing hydrating my hair oiling my hair and trying to figure out which products my hair is changing and liking and all of that good stuff that's really what i'm doing right now with my hair is just still still keeping a close eye on it because it feels like it changes every month like every month my hair change um this particular month i feel like my scalp has itched a little bit more but then i don't know if that's because i didn't wash it for two weeks and i've only washed it one time thus far this this go around or did i wash it twice i can't remember mm -mm, i only washed it once yep i washed it once and this is supposed to be twice because today is friday so i'm gonna sit in my sauna i have a portable sauna in my front room I think what I'm going to do is sit in my sauna. It's a steam sauna. So I'm going to sit in there, let all the steam get on my scalp and my hair, and then take my twist down in my sauna, and then probably put a deep conditioner mask on my hair, and then put a plastic bag on my hair, and then let that be my deep treatment. I really want to show y'all, but I really don't want to move all of this stuff in the front room. And my front room is so loud right now. So, yeah, I think, I don't know. Because I would want to show y'all, like, me taking my hair down. So, maybe, maybe I can do it. Maybe not. I don't know. But I'm going to take my hair down. I probably should show y'all since it is my first time taking down my hair. Let me see if this would even come down easy. Like, it feels... Mm-mm. And then with these twists, I feel like I got to wet them. And y'all know normally I take my hair down on dry hair. But I feel like I need to wet these twists to get them down safely. Y'all know how I hold one strand of the twist and just wrap it around itself. That came out pretty easy. Y'all look, this is what my hair will literally look like. You can see the difference with the back white background. Like that is what I'm dealing with. Like all of that, I could just go snip all of that will be gone like bruh i don't even know how many inches that is but i'm not even it's for the birds right now it's for the birds that's how i feel right now it's just like <laughs> but i don't get this aggravated with my hair or with the process at all because for one i didn't have twist in my hair so the difference of my hair like the different densities of my hair wasn't as apparent when i was just doing my two bigger braids or something like that and i almost feel like i'm just supposed to go back to doing my two bigger braids or some of my like i i think i am 
because the twist i don't know the twists are very they're very um they they make they make my hairstyle look a lot more put together because i'll be running around with some old school bow wow braids in my hair like not the nice neat decent ones but like the rough ones like if i can find a rough one a bow wow when he was young when he had his two braids in his head i i'd be running around looking like that but with these twists it gives me a little bit more decent well put together hairstyle for the week so yeah guys i'm not gonna keep y'all long on here and just be rambling but that's how i feel about my hair right now like that's where i'm at with it um i mean it's still giving length but the length part is just thin and before i just start hacking off a whole bunch of my hair like i really feel like i need to give my hair a good like i've already said i was gonna wait for the year mark but i literally feel like i need to see what it's gonna look like in the next year and a half before i just start hacking all of it off because with it being thinner on the ends it's still not see-through which is so crazy like it all thinned out kind of evenly so it's not giving horrible but it's giving with these twist and like I don't know maybe I'm tripping today you know I really don't know <laughs> I really don't know like I I don't know maybe it's because the twist look older I don't know but I'm gonna I'm gonna wash my hair I'm gonna take these all out and then I'm going to um do a deep treatment I'm gonna put the twist back in my head I'm not gonna show y'all me taking out my twist because I just took this one out for y'all and I'm not gonna probably show you guys me washing my hair because um yeah I feel like that will be a little redundant but then I'll just come back in after but that is a big difference though oh see I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do Right now, I probably shouldn't take my hair down because <laughs> I will take some scissors to my hair. <laughs> I will literally take some scissors to my hair, but I know that that would not be a great thing because I'm doing it out of emotions. Like I'm doing it just because I'm just done. breathe I got to breathe so let me breathe y'all oh my goodness okay y'all okay this is it this is it well I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do I'm probably I'll probably just put it in a and a bun or something i really need to make some more um whipped shea butter especially if i'm gonna put these twists back in my head i really need to do some whipped shea butter i feel like i should actually blow dry my hair and clip some of my ends but i feel like i should just like clip some of my ends like right now so i can see them you know and i got the scissors right here like i am so not playing games like I just feel like it's just it's telling me that I should you know <laughs> like I feel like it is like I'm just gonna but I was supposed to do a length check I don't know you know just just a little you know, maybe like a good three inches, you know? Maybe it won't hurt nothing. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. No, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. I mean, it's not gonna solve the problem. 
It's most definitely not gonna do that. It ain't gonna solve a problem. But I mean, it the ends. It's the ends for me. I probably shouldn't, but I am. I know y'all probably screaming in y'all seats like she literally did it. Well, I mean, it ain't that much. Let me see. You know, it's okay. You know, what can you do? I probably sound real crazy on here right now. That's okay though. Okay, I probably should have left this one up because now this one's going to be probably longer than the ones in the front, but the ones, I'm like, I'm supposed to be trying to let the back of my hair grow out, but, um, you know, maybe, maybe with this snippity snip snip, maybe the ends won't look so not happy, you know what I'm saying? I was supposed to do a length check, but I think I kind of got a little bit of a length check in there. But this is what my problem is. Okay. Alright. I shouldn't snip that. Because the temples of my hair be on some crap, but y'all still see the different density. I should snip it. Okay, my child has been gone for a very long time. Okay, I mean that's giving that's giving a lot better of not so crazy. What's this? Oh, you thought you was gonna hide, huh, bro? Mm-hmm. Got you too. You thought you was straight gonna hide, but not today, Satan. Not today. Okay. Alright, what's this one? Mm. Oh, you already got snipped, but it feels like you need to be snipped again. Okay. Okay. Alright, y'all. I'm going to take my hair down. See what I've done. <laughs> what did I do? Mm-mm. What, where is you at? This one? And this one? This one? Where you at? This one? You can't hide. Mm, you got snipped. Yep. Okay, these three? Or these four? These four. Okay. Okay. Oh. It's okay. It's completely okay. I don't know. I cut maybe a good three to four inches off of each one. I don't know where my uh, measuring tape is, but I think I did. You know, it was much needed. It was much needed. So, it's okay. She's fine. She'll grow back. I'm going to take these twists out my head to see if that makes my hair feels like it's kind of coming back to life. A little bit or something. Like, I just need something 
but I shouldn't pick okay so this was an unexpected kind of a chop I probably shouldn't cut it anymore um, for maybe a good six months or so but um yeah I snipped that okay y'all I'm done I'll come back in here maybe now I'm just so undecisive right now I probably <laughs> But it's okay. I think I am going to take y'all in the bathroom with me so y'all can see my hair with the twist, like washing my hair with the twist down. And then maybe, yeah, I shall, I'll take y'all in the bathroom with me. So stay tuned for the next video of me washing my hair after this unexpected cut um, to see what my hair looked like and to see if it feels better. I'm not sure if I want to... Um, I'm not sure if I want to put it back up in these twists. I probably should just to see if my ends look better or feel better. So I think I might put them back in the twist, but we'll see how far I get. Okay, so I'll see y'all in the shower. Yeah. Oh, so bye for now and then stay tuned for the next video.